Over 280 kidnapped. Yes, in Kaduna State. But they are saying 28 escaped from their captors. We will not verify that yet, but because of the newspaper, they say 28 persons managed to escape. But despite the threat, the warning from the federal government on that kidnapping took place in Sokoto State, 15 or 18 or thereabout. In Benue State, you get to hear about over 50 houses destroyed and some good numbers of persons losing their lives. Despite the hunger, the economic situation, we are still being faced by insecurity. The administration led by Bola Ahmed Tinubu promised to take care of the citizens via any means necessary, including security-wise. And here we are, fighting for our lives, begging for our lives to be spared in some part of the country. What in the world is going on? Some are saying this like Chibok Girls 2.0, because Chibok Girls over 200, right? They're talking about 280. What is going on? With me here in the studio to talk about this, I have public affairs commentator, political analyst, and of course, he is in activism full time. Join me to welcome Destiny in Abulili. Don't forget to mention also, was one time the chairman of our uh, LVR Southwest. Southwest local government area. Honorable, welcome to TMI. Yeah, I appreciate we'll your coming. Thank you. All right. one of yours. To very close to him, he was one time a governorship candidate, a legal practitioner, public affairs commentator, a human rights activist. Join me to welcome Barista Cosmos, a rebel. Welcome to TMI. Good morning, viewers. All right. Thank you for having me. And the one sitting very close to me, he is in the education sector, an Islamic scholar, a political analyst. Join me in welcoming Al Haji Ahmed Ewaike. Welcome to the program this morning. Thank you so much. Good morning. A good morning, viewers at home. This administration led by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, before he came into power, knew the situation of the country and he made a promise that when he's given the mandate to rule the country, things will be better economically, security wise, you just name it. If given time, but now, here we are, nine months plus, and Nigerians woke up to this root shock of the kidnappings that took place in Kaduna. So, could not forget about the killings also and kidnappings in some places, towns, and villages in this great country of ours. Is the government of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu losing it in terms of security? Because of the economy, we know we are down already. <laughs> Take it up from there, Ahmed. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Thank you, uh, Mr. Wixon, for the question. Yes, uh, not until you start seeing results. Uh, you will not actually now praise the person. Though some jobs may be going on under the grant, but result is the most focal part of the whole thing. Yes, he, he cannot say he's not aware of the security challenges that we have been facing in the country. Because during the time of uh, President... Uh, Muhammad Buhari, he was the national chairman of the Oppo, he was the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, meaning he was part and parcel of the government. So he knew exactly what was going on in terms of security issues. Now, when he was also campaigning, it was part of his promises that yes, security is going to be tackled, security issues is going to be tackled. But right now, what we are now waking up to see is not pleasing at all to the ears, neither is it pleasing to the mind. Yes, uh, he is not doing well security-wise for now, but I believe strategies may be under the ground, not until it materializes out, we will not be able to now see that he's actually doing well. But for now, if we have to measure the status quo, I would say he's actually disappointing us and he's failing in his responsibility. Because one of the responsibilities of the government is that security. It's not what a private person is there to provide. That is one of the, the level of, one of the things the government need to give to his or our citizen security. It is, it is his job, and that is what he ought to do for us. So for now, 
I would say is not uh, giving us the best. Shout for it. I want to tell you, Cosmo Serra, what do you feel about it? Security situation. Well, uh, like my brother here rightly said, it's obvious that it's, uh, with due respect to my language, the voting has become a, a hopeless failure, as I say, with due respect to my language. Because, like, when you were starting, you said something. You said he knew the situation, and he promised. So you cannot say, I, don't, I didn't know it was going to be like this. You have been in government. You are the leader of the party. When the other man was there, President Jonathan, there's no names he was not called. A woman, a this, a that, he was abused. I saw where somebody carried a goat and wore something on it, and so Jonathan. The man didn't bother. <coughs> as far as the man's concerned, he did his best, and he left. And your people came in and we expected something. But unfortunately, the country is with the main more the, uh, the masses have been overwhelmed. A situation where kidnappings are going on unabated. If you remind refresh your mind about the KJ jailbreak, hmm. you know, based on what we heard about things that happened, that people were you know, asked to leave, and those people came there, a whole prison yard for two, three hours, or four hours, removed those they wanted to remove. You see, when things like this happen. What do you expect? I was discussing with one high, very senior officer, I wouldn't want to say army of police. He said, We've not started seeing anything. Mm. It's just where people were known terrorists by virtue of whether uh, agreement or not agreement, they say they have laid down their arms. And you brought them into the army. Now they are, they are growing. So, my Majors and all that, so we soon become a uh, few commanders. And you expect anything positive to happen for them to begin to attack themselves? <laughs> they look at information and all you see is a mess. My brother, what we have here is conspiracy, high level conspiracy. Because so many people, in my own opinion, who have ruled us or who are even ruling us, are not Nigerians, in my opinion. And so they don't give a hook whatever happens. You understand? That's why some of these people borders are open. Countries close their borders when they have issues and begin to tackle security. But fortunately, in Nigeria situation, what happened? They open the border and say, you can come in. You'll be checked. You know, I was going to Abuja. I don't know where we stopped. Police stopped and saw some uh, people were going with us in the vehicle. <coughs> and the policemen knew them. Say, you come at you come at me. Call them. Where are you from? The four of us signed there, they saw Nigerian passports with all of them. I did not discover that none of the Nigeria. Huh. How did you get the passports? They kept one. Well, they said, no fit to go inside and go. Because they wanted to protect their jobs. And from a place in Asia, kidnapping was taking place, even as remote as the place may seem to be. And then they brought one DPO. The guy was slashing them. I mean, picking them, arresting them. Somebody did a petition against him. A suspect that was arrested that jumped big did a petition against him. This man was tried. A superintendent of police. And at the end of the day, I walked in there and I saw the anyway. I said, This is so head of. I went to the hire. I made this. I said, He's the DP of my place. I know without him it would have been difficult for us to come here. Before the night did this. At the end of the day, they transferred it away. My brother, today we can't go there. Kidnappers. Even people going to farm, they kidnap you. They say, bring money. If you don't, they will beat you. They tell you that they sell your pass. That whether you bring or not, they will still make money. People who are not from that community. If the youths gather to attack, they say they have murdered somebody. They arrest them, detain them. But these who are moving and doing their things the way they like, nobody is bothering about them. I'm sure you heard of what happened in Ugeli. We had 19 young officers, policemen, were killed by headers. And even the police authority deemed the fit to keep it silent. So that nobody would know. But some other people, have, you blow it to this. If a thing like that happened in America, there will be national money. Is it when you are a junior officer, or only when you are a senior officer, that you are a human being that has blood? It is, you see, this thing is growing. Why? Because nothing is done about it. Even the one they come out to say is lip service. Nothing is, they know what is going on. They exactly know what it is. You created a monster, and the monster will definitely come and devour you. Because the monster knows much about your secrets, you are afraid to act. That's the way I see it.
If the government wants to nip it on board or they want to stop it, they can. Power flows through the barrel of the barrel of the gun. Let such a thing happen in the south is the whole helicopter, the whole jet fighters will go there. They will stop with the arrest and all that. But these things are happening now. Nobody seems to be talking. The question was, is it that the Nigerian military don't know what they are doing anymore? Of course, that's wrong. <coughs> they are well trained. They know what to do. I'll certainly say with due respect. During the time of, uh, it's, uh, what do you call these people, uh, Sierra Leone, mm -hmm. where they had issues, Nigerians were there. And I know what they did there. Uh, the time of uh, uh, this country again, where George Way is, was Liberia. Like, Liberia, with due respect. Nigerians choose, soldiers went there. In a territory that is not their own, they did exploits. But in their own territory, not you. Look, it's funny. It's funny. You mean with the modern day technology, you cannot pick, pick out where these people are, these skirmishes, where they are, and fish them out? Every day. How many years now? It's, it's getting up to 15 years now. So few people that are Nigerians cannot pick them out. All right. Are we that bad? Okay. It's funny. It's shameful. Open well, up to you, Honorable. What do you feel about it? Both of them agree that we are not where we ought to be security wise. That, Mr. President, in this regard, is failing us massively, woefully, if it doesn't really want to, uh, like, you know, tackle this head on. Yeah, we'll see. Again, let me appreciate you and thank uh, ITV management. You can see I'm smiling. Foolishly. <laughs> <laughs> Quite <laughs> a sad mm, situation. You see, I think it was uh, Chino Achebe that wrote a book and said there was a country. It's sad. See, I wanted to see how I can defend. I wanted to take a different route, but there's something my grandmother will always say, literally meaning that uh, it is uh, it is on. I don't know how to put it. There's no way you can defend mm. madness. It is difficult to defend madness. Mm. Very very difficult. And I, I remember I read a book when I was in secondary school, in secondary school, that uh, is it Animal Farm. Mm. There are some regions are more superior than every, any other region. Mm. My brother here said something about if you are to be in the, in the southeast, you have seen retinue of uh, security agencies moving trucks, men and material to bring down the southeast. That's why I used it. That's why I said, I read the book, The Animal Farm. We all know what the animal said, Animal mm. Farm said, talk, talked about. It is sad and it's pathetic. You see, if you look at what is happening in this country, it's going to say something that uh, people, you know, presiding over the affairs of Nigeria, that you don't believe that they are from this country. And I align with you totally. Because if you are a father, and I know you are a father of, of two kids, mm. and your children, I not find it, you know, that good. You do everything to make to make sure that it's good. I'm a father. I know exactly what I'm talking about. Mm. Accepting maybe they are not really your, your, your children. You look the other side. It is sad. I tell you, what is working in this country now? In all facet of human endeavor, everything is a comatose. In all facet, is it the economy? Is it the education? Is it the, 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 the infrastructure? Is it the... Or the manufacturing sector. Just tell me what, what, is, what is working. It is likened to a face state, if not already face state. It's, it's, it's a face state. No, well, 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 I understand that, perfectly. That, that is just so harsh. It's not yes, a face state. But you can't say, no, but, 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 but you can't say that it has a coloration. I told you just now. Face, but not a face state. Wait, 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 when you ask me this question, you say, I will just smiling foolishly. Hmm. Foolishly. <laughs> I'm going to be very frank with you. I'm going to be very frank with you. That's why they said Nigeria is the, they are most, they, they are the most happiest people on earth. Suffering and smiling, as, as put it by fella. <laughs> we are afraid because we all love enjoyment. Champagne, according to the former minister for, of agriculture, in the whole of, in the whole of Africa, I think we are the most uh, uh, lovers of champagne. So we are afraid to go to war. We are afraid to, to, to question the status quo. It's, it's quite sad. It is pathetic. Have you been to market of late? I have. Hmm. Last week, they were very precise. Myself and my wife were almost uh, good, you know, looking the other way. 
to tell you how expensive things are in the market. And our, our farmers can no longer go to the farm. Even some of us that are living in the urban, we can no longer go, go, for, go to our to our villages. In the south, it's as bad as that. And you want to tell me some of the first states? Okay, what, you, okay, you want that day to meet us in, the, in our bedroom for you know it's already a first state. You see, if you look at what we need to be, you know, dissipating our energy on, we, we are not doing it. For instance, you saw the president going to Qatar. And you saw, you saw the line of protocol. That's a breach of protocol. I studied international study and diplomacy in my first degree. It's a, it's a complete breach of protocol. And besides that, I have been a local government chairman. I know what executive entails. If, for instance, when I was a local government chairman, I had my elder brother, my mother, line up before, before uh, the, 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 the hunger. And every other council, council management staff. What would have? You see, there is a complete, you know, there is a complete, you know, disconnect. There is a lacuna in the system that every Nigerian must rise up because a closed mouth is a closed destiny. We must rise up to, to question them. Have been saying this thing. Call it whatever a revolution. I don't care because there's, there's a saying in the local palace that when you pursue a goal to the war, ordinarily it will keep on betting to fight back. You know that the man. It's between life and death. You know, the God cannot bite. But definitely, we have the energy to want to face who's pursuing him or her. Mm. So the point we are saying now, we all must rise up, we must speak now, otherwise, tell me what, what is working. You can see the level of, you know, indiscipline in the system as it relates to corruption. From the so-called, the, the college, the, 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 so it's not the allegation not too, not, not too long ago. Issue of bribing. The chief of staff and, 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 and whatever. And so far, they have they have printed about seven trillion naira. And before now, when the man in the Saudi of leadership, he advised the dead president to print money. That if there's no money, let him print money. But there's a long way you use that time. So for us, and it's a simple economics law, you and I know when there are too much. Money in the system, there's but there'll be the value of that naira of that currency. You see, you advised a government, and now you are here, you are doing say ways and means. And our dead, the our governor then advised them, they said it was play politics. But here we are today a dollar, a naira to a dollar, and it's about 1600 to a, to a dollar to a dollar. What that means that an average Nigeria must, must, must work about 100 uh, uh, 1600 times to get one dollar. Hmm. 1,600 times to get $1. All right. I, 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 sad. I, I'll come back to you. You can see that's why I said I was just smiling foolishly. I'll continuously use it to the end of this program. Calm down. Please, <laughs> don't just smile foolishly, please. <laughs> this, is, this is very, very worrisome. It is disturbing. Like I opined before we started this discussion, he knew about the situation before he opted to be you know, uh, uh, an aspirant from the candidates and of course it became the president and here we are today. From what Honorable said, he said a failed state. I said, no, you just cannot say that. I'm not saying having these traces of a failed state because of what is happening. Do you agree to that? That is having just some trace, but not yet failed. Uh, Mr. Wilson, I, I agree with the last statement that is not yet a failed state, mm -hmm. but having some elements of mm -hmm. a failed state, yes. Because ordinarily, the way things are happening is really worrisome. For Nigeria, it's about 60-something years mm -hmm. old yes, now. Yes. And uh, when we started, we were having some level of good power supply. But it's just that ordinarily, as a man, when you are growing up, your level of education keeps increasing. If you are having a farm lad or you are farming, your level of farm increase. If you are giving birth to children, your level of giving birth to increase. So Nigeria ought to be increasing in terms of you know infrastructures and good things. But what we have in many cases now is that things are degenerating. They are coming down, coming down. I can you can't really see any quarters now that can boast of five hours power supply a day now as you speak. So that one alone, that one is on the bane of development. What can bring you know, development? None of us, even my generator now is giving me problem now for pumping water on a regular basis because I can't <laughs> even have 
a constant power. And even though I pay for this thing, but I can't get it. So I'll, let's leave that down. Then for the security issue, honestly, you know, other presidential, other presidents as at that time will be hearing Kaba, Kaba, Kaba. But this time, I don't know what is not affected. Whether I was to have Kaba version 2, or I don't understand. So I will 2.0. Oh, Kaba 2.0. So, you know, <laughs> I will concur with um, our other scholar here, uh, our, you know, barrister here, that yes, there may be some level of some individuals who are within the government who may not mean well for this country. Ordinarily, our Nigerian security architecture is perfect. But the problem is that you cannot uh, be bigger than your boss. I think that is where the problem is. Mm -hmm. A superior order will always come against a superior order and against a superior order. And I think that is where the problem is. Ordinarily, if you want to know that Nigerian police can work very well or a Nigerian military can work very well, just give them the moral boost and tell them to do this thing. They will fish out that person or that individual and they get to you. So the issue now is that there is really a conspiracy which I 100% agree. That yes, there's a conspiracy between the security system and with those people that are perpetrating this evil. Because ordinarily, to tackle kidnapping wouldn't have taken us down too long. To tackle, but the way it's going now is getting worse on a daily basis. Look at our uh, Bini Auchi road that have been. In fact, that was a student when they started awarding that road. See, now that road is continuously being awarded, and we don't know when the award will get finished and when the job will not be finally executed. So, but I won't concur 100% that we are yet a face state. So, that let me not be opining with uh, yeah. uh, Honorable Destiny that uh, we're already a face state, no, but we are moving towards that. If we do not use our voice now to tell the government to wake up to their responsibility, then I believe we may be heading towards that direction because the kidnapping rate is really annoying. And now, the way they are focusing on the northern region in this kidnapping case is even giving me more cause to worry. So, and you know, my brothers in the north, once they start their own, in fact, to quench it becomes a very problem. Like, with a certain part, with our level of intelligence, we may decide to, like, okay, let's think of a certain But then, once they start their own, to be a difficult issue to actually quench. So, as we are still managing the country like this, let the presidents, the governors, and the local government chairman let them assist us in making this thing work. That is why I always commend the governor, uh, Gordon Obaseki, though I'm not a PDP member, mm. but I commend him for this Edo State Security Network that he has set up. If not the Edo State Security Network that the governor is funding and encouraging, uh, it would have been worse than what uh, Barrister Cosmos earlier said in terms of this kidnapping in our farmland. Even in my own farm, in, my, in our villages, I had a farm in my village that I planted plantain, but I could not harvest anything from that plantain mm -hmm. because with the herdsmen feeding on it, and you cannot even do them, virtually can't do them anything. Our own uh, you know, community chairman was kidnapped. We knew how much we used in bailing bail him. And there are so many revelations he got from those kidnappers I cannot say on air. So as it stands, we should just look for a way to at least bridge that gap between the federal police and we have our own local security. You know, the local security, I think, that will be able to help issue. So let's encourage this local security. As Governor Basek is already doing, let us empower them more. As mm -hmm. they're already doing their uh, motorcon issue, let us empower them more. So that if these federal securities are not assisting us well, then with our local security, those ones cannot assist us. If you check very well, this rate of kidnapping is not as high in the western region compared to the way it is in the, nor in the northern part and also in the southern part. Because these Amotecon people are doing their best. They are more or less like the internal security for their own people. And with the uh, those state security network that Obaseki is already empowering, he has been training them in uh, uh, the police command in Ogida. And I'm pleased with it. So many batches of it have been trained. So you should continue training them, giving them the security and information, security knowledge, so that with this local security, I believe we'll be able to tackle this insecurity. But for me not to deviate from the question you asked, we are yet not a face state, but we are gradually going there if things are not being corrected. All right. No, 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 hold on. You, you react. Just hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It gets to your turn. All right. Now, if you take a look at this as well, someone's saying there is this surge in kidnapping in this administration because of the economic situation. You get to hear someone being kidnapped and get to hear the captor said, give us at least 50,000, some 100,000. It isn't related to the state of the economy, Barrister. 
Well, uh, as a matter of fact, Mr. Wilson, I've not heard where they say 50,000 hmm. or 100,000. Hmm. They've kidnapped so many people in my villages. The least we gave was 800,000, hmm. no matter how poor you are. If you say you're a farmer, they'll say, let me see your palm. They'll touch your palm, say you're stupid, you're not a farmer. <laughs> Beat you so mercilessly. For real, they'll touch your palm? Yeah, as they are beating you, hmm. they are either filming it, sending it to your people, or they record it, your people are hearing. They also hmm. jump anywhere and get the money. Hmm. And give you the money. They tell you, even if you don't have the money, we'll sell your parts and we'll still make the money. By the time we'll harvest the kidney and all that. <coughs> so, of course, the economy is also playing a role. Why is the economy playing a role? Hmm. We have some miscreants amongst us who are giving information to the kidnappers. And then they give them stipends, they take. I think that's part of uh, the economic situation because they have information. So the economy is playing a role. But if I may go back to what my brother here said and what you are, <laughs> if the state is a fair state, and I ask a simple question. What's the essence of governance? Why do we have governance or government in a state? So that we don't live a wide, wide west kind of state. We don't live like a you know, banana republic. Survival of the fittest. The animals, <coughs> the animal kingdom in such a way that whoever comes that is strongest, feeds on anyone, taste child, you know. So that's why people say, okay, let us settle down. Pick somebody. Not because he's the best, the most intelligent, the most handsome, mm -hmm. but because we need somebody to be there. So that the person can, you know, head the arms of government. The executive, the judiciary, and the legislative. This also make the laws. This also interpret the laws. <coughs> this also enforce the law. That's the essence of governance. But when these three things have failed in their responsibility because the essence of it all is to make sure that the security for the people <coughs> and their lives changes. That's the welfare. When the essence of it all, because you have a means to an end and an end in itself, when the means to an end fails, the end in itself automatically has failed. <coughs> so, if the end in itself, which is security for the people and welfare, is not there, what do you call it? A good system <laughs> or a fair system? Don't go psychological on me like my barista. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna, I only ask you a question. Mm. It is disheartening. Very, very disheartening. Mm. I was calling to somebody, I was saying, very soon there will be a revolution. I laughed. My brother, there can never be a revolution. Never. Because the politicians have made it so. They've shared the country, you understand? Because of their greed, they've not created mutual distrust among the geographical regions. That if you are there, they'll say, oh, it's because he's there, it's our man that is there, that's why he's talking. That's why it's called that even during the SAP riots, I mean the SARS and the SARS riots, as hot as it were, so many of the country did not fit. Because the fact that it's our man that is there, only thing you are doing. You are trying to do it against it. So, but, but I just look at the whole thing. I think that it ends because you put something on nothing, you expect it to die, it will never stand. I wouldn't want to say Nigeria has no constitution. I also wouldn't want to say the constitution does not reflect what it's supposed to reflect. <coughs> but I want to say the process has problem. And when they now begin to say, let's amend, I laugh. Amend what? You don't, put, you don't keep something on it and expect it to stand. Out of nothing, nothing comes out. It should be another constitution. Because which level of amendment will lead us to the desired result? It should be a, that should be the starting point. If there's going to be a togetherness, according to what you call it, is it not Dinka that said we have togetherness? <coughs> you understand? The constitution has to be worked on. What you are seeing originated from somewhere. That's why somebody can come to your place, kidnap you, and nothing happens. Because he knows nothing will happen. Outside an instance, it happened here in Ubo, a candle area, where a young police officer led a team of policemen to go and arrest a headsman who caught on top of the arms of a farmer. That farmer went to the police station to report. On getting there, those who opened fire at them, others escaped. One got bullet wounds on his leg and his arm. 
He couldn't know. So he now managed himself, put himself in the kennel and was there. A police inspector. He was there for three days. Yeah, I think he I didn't heard. get support. Yeah. It was the third day that he could even soldiers and now even soldiers said, ah, let's go and help this man. By the time they got there, they tried, tried. It was even yeah. the local vigilante. Eventually, now saw him. My dear friend, it's late as we speak. Yeah. They now saw him. Was, he told me his experience before he died. Mm -hmm. They now pushed him till they got him out. Now, the question is for that three days, police could not mobilize everything that needed to be mobilized to sit down. He said, they were saying, no, 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 don't catch up. Catch up on which side? Is it the side of the police or the side of the headsman? You don't want casualty. That man was there for three days. <coughs> now ask me, if you are related to such a person, you are a policeman, you say, go and push your head will you go? Mm -hmm. You go have to see now. Bible never be drinking. <coughs> I remember a situation where there was an information of somebody, I don't want to call it this, that Robert said, be in a finish station. That some policemen could go there. They went half with the bus. I saw them were by the trash <laughs> cars. You don't blame them. Because there are ways they will act, they will say you are Vazilos. Who asked you to do that? That is the system we have found ourselves. So the problem is not like my brother said. The security state of perfect. But everybody is afraid. Anything you do, you are on your own. You are picked the next second, you throw into the cell, they charge you for murder. Your own is gone. So that is where the problem is. So now I'm saying that there is a conspiracy. Serious conspiracy. And not until they come out sincere. If I want to get <coughs> become a president or a governor also, let me use the word president. I go to a group of kidnappers. I say I salute to now. I know you people are strong. I want to contest. I want you to support me. When you support me, I will do your bid. Why are you telling those kidnappers? When the man gets there, we go and do whatever we want to do. And if anything happens, <laughs> Release immediately. So, why will you not continue? All right. Now, for uh, the part of Mr. President, I'm not saying it's not only on the table of Mr. President. After all, security votes have been given to these governors. Allocations, increased right, have been given to these governors. If each governor is able to take care of his, or oh, okay, his domain, because we don't have him a governor, his domain, we won't be hearing about this. Is it only the responsibility of Mr. President to provide security? What about the governors that have been given security votes? Mr. Wilson. Some over half a billion. Mr. Wilson. Some getting close to a billion. What about these governors of these states? Mr. Wilson, let me again appreciate you. I think uh, I'm happy that. Uh, I may say it's not, uh, it's not a member of uh, PDP. Mm. And equally is aware that it's uh, virtually impossible to defend madness. <laughs> you know? Mm. So I'm, I'm very comfortable. You see, if you look at the issue of governor, president, first of all, let me ask you, what system of government are we running in this, in this country? I don't think you are aware of the system of government we are running in this country. I don't know. Crazy. We are fully aware. I don't know. 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 Because of the question. I don't know. Because of the question. I don't know. Because of the question. It will lead us. Okay. It will lead us. I'm trying to. I don't know. Is it a presidential system of government? What is operating? What is operating in the United States of America? I don't even know. No. Where every state is meant to preside over their affairs, they have paid tax and offer to the center. They take off their security. Where, this, where the center is saddled with the diplomacy and territorial defense. I start to be challenged. I'm not aware. Having masters in history, as at least I know about up to 60% comes to world history. I'm not aware of what the system of government we are running. It is Obama that once said that. Nigeria or Africa, we all have strong men rather than strong institutions. That's the problem of where, that's the bane of our development. Mm. And you want to ask me whether the state, I, I, I think I will, I will not answer such question. No, you have to answer. No, why not? Security votes. Yes. Who are going to charge? When the head is bad, your body is useless. <laughs> God forbid, the man's died. He starts rotting from the head. There's a saying in the, in, the, in the Japanese, or rather a system in the Japanese, when the system is not working, the head, the, the head is, is, to, is, is to retire, not the soldiers. 
I, 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 I laughed when they said we have a perfect security system. I tried to look at the figure of speech they are trying to bring in. But I'm not, a, I'm not a literature student. But I know for sure, when you say a perfect system, a perfect security system, are they, are they, are they been able to meet up to their mandate? It's when they meet up to their mandate tell me that there is a perfect system. What is perfect when they are not doing the, 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 the nitty gritty? What is perfect? I put the question back to them. You raised you raise a very fundamental question just now. That their, their colleague was shot at over three days. They refused. And we called that a perfect system. I don't know where we are going in this country. More than that is a crazy boy. Listen, listen. A spade is a spade. It's never a spade. It's never a garden fork. Mm. We must learn to call a spade a spade. If it's my mother, I was in primary five. You know that time, where's a mini in the primary school? Mm. Where one of my mistress tried to use intruder. I said, uh, let's assume, I don't know whether the, the, the husband then, quote unquote, was trying to uh, marry the second wife. He said, let's assume a man now married the second wife. I said, the second wife is an intruder. When I got home, I said, I asked my father. I said, ah, why did you marry my mother? Uh, my, my father was trying to play, I said, is she an intruder? That's the shock, my father. <laughs> so that's what, that, that is it. You must learn to call a spade a spade. My mother is still alive. This thing, my father called my mother and uh, the senior wife. Look at the question I'm, I'm asking him. But we must be inquisitive. In this country, we are too docile. We are docile. Just like what you rightly said. Mm. If it's favoring me, man, it's connection. If it's not favoring me, it's corruption. Those outside, there are more than those inside that are chopping now. There are many that want to come and chop. Mm. Permit me to use such word. It's quite sad. There's this issue of materialism that has eaten to, the, to, the, to, the, to our bone marrow. Everybody wants immediate gratification. Not only the politicians, but the led and the followers. There is, a, see, there is a systemic failure that we must go back to drawing board to address. Until we do that, all this, we will only be maroli, one leg front, three legs backward. And our, God forbid, our great children will come and see, see what, we are, what we are experiencing. So the issue, let me try to answer your question. The issue of the security vote, just like what Ahmed said, I'll try to use my state as a case study. Good and fine. At least we are in the path of trying to get a, a, a security solution. We are not there yet. But brought down to the system of government we are running. Whether you like it or not, the security that you are talking about is not purely for, for, for security apparatus or security agencies. No, that was not a local government. Your security vote can be to, 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 to empower some boys for information or you know, free will. You know, to, to, to make sure that your immediate environment is secured. Not necessary for people, but you can also play with, with it. That is just it. Buying of you know, uh, vehicle and whatever to the, to, the, to the security agencies. It's part of it, but not purely for the conventional security men. We must, we must situate it. Not purely. So the issue of whether the governor on, and this thing, see, we must go back to, this, to, to the center. We must address it from the top. Otherwise, otherwise, all right. I've said it. You said right. it's not yet a face state. Yes. Uh, I, I think I will uh, let me foolishly align. <laughs> okay. I will foolishly align again. It's not foolishly align. I will foolishly align. Okay. It's not yet all a right. state at Okay, all. it's not yet a failed state. Not only issue of security vote. Though he said we have to start from the top. But I'm surprised that Bagan knows enough to even, from what I heard, increase security votes for some states. And he said, look, I just can't do this job alone. Take care of your state. This is the amount of money in mass security vote. Some states even got one and a half of what they used to get. Is security it vote. Only, of course. Is it only Mr. No. President? Because that's saying according to the disturbance in your state, they have the right to ask for a review. Take it up from there. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Honorable Destiny. You see, you ask a very fundamental question on the kind of uh, system of government we are practicing. Though you said it's quite different from that of uh, the United States. Yes, this is what we are practicing is a Nigerian presidential system of government. <laughs> <laughs> so we cannot copycat the Western world 100%. So this is our own Nigerian system of uh, presidential system of government. So on a quick one, let us uh, look at it from that question of uh, the security vote. We have the local government. It was not just created for fun. Neither was it created for some persons to be empowered. Oh, you don't have a job, go and be a chairman, or you go and be a counselor. You know, not just for that purpose. It's for the government to be closer to the people. And what make government to be closer now, it entails all, including the security, basic amenities, and all. 
Now we now have the state government. Then before we now have the president. President on his own will not be able to know what is happening in Akure, eh, sorry, in Kwara, Edo, Delta. Though he will get the fillers, but he may not be he may not be hundred percent on ground in that place. That is why we have a governor. That is why I would say I, 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 I praised Governor Basaki for coming up with a dusty security network. Though the security vote is not meant for that dusty security network, I agree with him on that security vote issue. Ah, people come to visit the governor. People come to, you know, greet, and you just have to, like, have some people outside, like, from his salary or from the budget. From Don't the forget the reason. Security is not so much so 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 part of security. It's so part of security. It's part of security. It is part of security. It is part of security. It is part of security because when you're... The people are part of security. Yes, when they are when they are happy, too. Yeah, Benny Ma used to make this uh, parable that uh, when, uh, when your stomach, when you are, you are, your mind is sweet, your heart will not think of evil. That is just you understand. So when people come, they visit or the neighborhood and stuff like that, and they are happy, so they will not go back and be thinking of evil. So but now come there now. The security issue, we have enough money to actually take care of this security architecture. Starting from the local government, he has the local vigilante. The local government uh, uh, council chairman at least have enough to his disposal to take care of the local security. I visited my local government chairman of recent. I knew the way it was interfering, intervening over security issues where the vigilantes were there, though I was in the lobby waiting for him to call me in. So I, I could appreciate his efforts mm -hmm. over that. So all we want in this aspect now is to empower this local vigilante. At the state level, let's also empower the vigilante, the dual security network that the governor has set up. Let's empower them on. And I like the way he's training them so that there will not just be boys that have been given gone without actually knowing what it entails to carry gun. So let them have more idea, more knowledge about what they are doing. So at this our level, we can use that one to secure ourselves first. Then with the federal government security architecture, like I said, I still agree that we have a perfect system. It's just that the order, when I mean oga, 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 because you just have to obey the last order. If at my level as a DPO, definitely have an area commander. Definitely have a, a, a CP. The DCP also have another Oga AIG. The AIG also have another Oga the IG. So if one has taken a decision at this level, the other one can come and obtain that decision. You don't have any other option than to say, okay, a case is there whereby you arrest somebody, you say, the dog call us, say, make we release, we make we release them. What do, you want, what do you want them to do? And they are supposed to also be held, you know, wrongly. They also organize, say, make we do one like that. They have no option. The same thing with the military. These architectures are well balanced. At the military, at the military level, you have the uh, army, you have the air force, you have the navy, well balanced. At the state level, you now have the civil defense, you now have the police on ground for the internal security, well balanced system. But now we agree that they are not well funded. We don't have more personnel. The one with our big boys, the so-called VIPs, are even more than the ones that are taken care of with the Talakawas. Mm. We don't even have them enough. So all we need to do is to put in more money. Into those security architectures. And then try to at least push the dirty hearts of the superior officers. Once this, their heart is, you know, well clean, then they cannot reason well. Somebody told me it is blood money that they are making at the top. They just want this crisis to be there so that those top security actors will be making more money. Okay, as there's kidnapping cases now in Kaduna now, don't you think the governor will call whatever or guy heading a particular division or whatever and pump in more money to go and do something? But not that maybe it's going to get result. But probably it's just after its own. When the system of uh, the government is not too expensive, they sit down on their own. A major, for example, he knows what he's entitled to. And he's look at somebody that was just appointed yesterday an essay to the governor or essay to this. He's living a flamboyant life. Me, I'm in that very barracks there, suffering, not even enjoying the dividend. Even the salary being paid to me is not suffering. So sometimes they may come up with different things not to make money. So what they now enjoy when they saw that, oh, there's no money in this thing to even make. So you will not discover that this security issue will be a very difficult thing to do. Like I told somebody the other day, I got a job when I graduated. They were paying me 10000 I told my uncle, my uncle is a, was a retired CSP officer. He, I said, I'm not taking this job. He said, what do you mean? He said, that's sergeant salary. I was shocked. Hmm. Sergeant salary, 10000 as a 206, 2006. I was like, okay, no wonder. How can you be paying a sergeant at that time? 10000 2006. What do you expect that sergeant to do? Will that one take off him and his family? Won't he result into corruption, into crime, in making ends meet? 
So let's do the system is perfect, but they should just have to review it from up down. So that when they are well taken care of, they can risk their life. Like the example uh, Barrister gave just now. If that one were to be your own brother, and your younger one wants to enter the Nigerian police force tomorrow, or your also, will you allow your younger brother or your son to go and buy the Nigerian police force uh, uh, form to fill mm. or to become a, a police officer? There's no motivation. All right. So these are part of the thing. So that security vote actually is meant for security, but not just only for security. But my brother, to <coughs> me, for the way I understand the political system, is to is money back for you to quickly accrue. Because it's money you don't audit. You've Nobody tells you me. that. You know, just for you to, to acquire money. I want to, to share your thoughts on this audit. security vote issue because, come on, the name security vote implies what it means for security. I say it's for money for entertainment money to... Please take it off from there. Well, uh, my defy need to put on that. Ooh. The money was tagged for security. security votes. And it ought to have been used for security. Mm. When you talk for security, there are other facets of security, gathering information and all that. Mm. That's what we're trying to thank, do. Thank God you are, you are, you are <coughs> aligning. Yes, I will say the security, but the end result of it has to be security. Then the question is the government is giving security votes. What is it doing with the security votes? I am not an apologist of the government. Mm. I'm not even the government's party. <coughs> well, fast be told. If you ask me, I'll tell you we're doing very well with regards to security. Mm. I travel from Benin to Nisha, I'm a Nisha man, I'm very proud of that. <coughs> Before the government came, I know how the road used to be. There are times we want to travel, we will pray. Your man, yes, I know is also part of it. <laughs> <laughs> we will pray. And through acts, you will drive from Benin to wherever you are going to. Nobody talks to each other. What is thinking? You are looking at this. There was a guy I was driving and I saw a madman on the road. And you know the normal thing. If you see a madman, he's an most of the time he's an informant. He looks at the vehicle is, that is coming. I drove up to 160 in the back room because when I was letting them come, I would hit them. Because I was just rest assured that these are already informants. That was how bad that road is. But now you can drive and at least maybe once or twice you talk to somebody and laugh. <coughs> because the man has brought in soldiers. They even built uh, a mini barracks along the road. Yeah. You know, all those things. And those things cost money. These soldiers are on special duty. They collect the special know, money. Special money for mm -hmm. that. They are very close patrolling. You understand? Mm -hmm. But I expect him to do more. Mm -hmm. You see, the society has a seeded man, number of men. It is not technology. <coughs> you can be in somewhere in your office, you know exactly what's going on in all over the state. If you see strength movement, you know. Somebody's trying to kidnap you, you know. You send men there, they go and kick. When I contested for governorship election, <coughs> excuse me, in my, I went to the debate with it, I told them, I said, why civilized society are building building houses? Which one is vertical? This one is vertical. No, this horizontal is vertical. <coughs> we are building houses vertically. Mm. We are building horizontally. Vertically, you go straight, manage the space, you still get what you want. And what we're mm. just doing, we are doing. With technology, you can be anywhere. You get anything you want to get. You have drones. They don't cost too much. You have helicopters. They don't cost too much. People are buying them like this is this. You have special squads. You have CCTV cameras. Virtually all the traffic lights. You have lights. Since we don't have anything like uh, what well, you respect to the BGC, then you get solar. Let the solar generate light for cameras. <coughs> if you cannot do it in all these things, start from the urban areas first. So then we can then get it. When you have these things, it becomes easy. If they pick a vehicle, if, if they pick uh, victims, and they are running with the victims, okay, they are heading towards uh, this in uh, east west. So, so you see, helicopters, you find looks, they pick them. And when you know that if they go into a venture, they will definitely be arrested. That business becomes a bad business. Exactly. They don't do it anymore. Exactly. Mm. This is improvement I expect <coughs> the government to go into. The vigilante group here has, well, it's a good move. They are trying, but of course, you know what normally happens. Courtesy and all that has gone into some of them are mental criminalities and all that. But it's a good move, you know, that you can, you know, defend yourself. Mm. 
or like before where they just come and do whatever they want to do and go away. But another thing we should realize is, <coughs> over and above that, does the government control the military? No. <laughs> does the government control the state? No. I've had situations where the governor will come up to say, I don't have a CP. It happened in this state. Obasaki. Not only in this state. <coughs> so many other states. Why? I, mean, I give instructions to the CP as a chief security officer. And he says, I don't take orders from him. I take from the IG. And what do you do? You know what you keep doing is you keep massaging. He said, oh, you know what you want and all that. But it should not be the case. The government being a chief security officer of the state should be able to say, I want this here, and I want that here, and I want that. So these are things. The government, as far as security, as far as I'm concerned, is doing very well. And the security vote, no matter how much it's given, is never enough. Because there's nothing like fighting security. There are some boys you pay, and I'm sure the government is doing it. Just to get that information. They pay them so much. But people will not know that there are things like that. There are so many things. Okay, traditional blacks, you give them, they maintain your society and your communities and all that. You're all part of the security. Mm -hmm. So, he is doing well, but a lot needs to be done. If you go into... I understand that people from the northern <coughs> region are not doing well. Is that what you say, right? So, the governors in the northern region. Mm -hmm. Does that mean that they are not doing well with their security vote? Security <laughs> problem in the north is not just that. It's political problem. Okay. Political they problem. know what their problem is. They manufacture the colossus that is disturbing them. Mm -hmm. So, the one is different. I'm talking of my own here, the one I know. <laughs> the one you know. Yes. Okay, thank you. You cannot yeah. build. You cannot build a monster oh, to right. attack people. I think when the monster has finished attacking them, they will come back to you. Come back to you. Back to you. Okay. And then, Destiny, you have the last line on this discussion segment. We have to dive into all the segments. Okay. What advice there from the president, the governors, even the security apparatus in Nigeria? Well, uh, let me, I think my friend I may raise the issue before now, uh, the issue of uh, local government. Uh, the facts are there. You can go there and verify. Well, oh, I'm, so you're not in verify. I'm not in the LP. <laughs> <laughs> so go there and go to the LP. <laughs> well, before I became a local government chairman oh, of that southwest, it was an I saw when as it related to insecurity. Mm. It was almost every week marketing of farmers by headers. If we kidnapping, there was some post before the, the council secretariat. My my classmate in the secondary school, she was kidnapped. So immediately I became a local government chairman. I brought this on sanity. I visited the, 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 the army, the fourth brigade, the police commissioner, the, 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 the AIGs on five and, and all of that. Even some of my colleagues asked me, oh boy, why are you visiting all this? I said, there is a saying that you who want peace must prepare for war. Hmm. That's what prompted me in visiting them. And at the end of the day, it paid off that when I had an army post, Although it was removed because of political inclination, quote and unquote, by men that said, okay, they are close to the center. That is on the other side. See, for you to have, to, to be able to influence an army post, just like, like what he said, it's not a tea party. It's not, uh, it's not rice and stew. You must part away with, it's not with something. Last I chairman Ali, throughout my three years in office as a local government chairman, there was a reality peace. In of that southwest. You can go there and verify, although I'm not an LOP. <laughs> so the point I'm driving at, you, are, you, you asked me a very you know, excellent question. Mm. The, the man in the center, we should convey the message to him that we are not running a, mo a monarchical system, a situation where he travels, he go with the, with, with the son. Then the first of all introduce the son before the, 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 the minister of foreign affairs. It is an operation. It's a crime against good governance. It's a crime. If you want to be a civil society, it's enough to call for his impeachment. If he's not aware, they should go and tell him. It's quite sad. That you, it, it was a national embarrassment. It was a national embarrassment. For you to now introduce your, your two children as if they are, they, are, they, are, they are invalids. As if they are their children. They are not looking at their father. They are not look, you see, although, well, there is a saying that uh, in Nigeria, a crime is a definition of convenience. The person who is interpreting it, he's a lawyer. You understand perfectly what I'm saying. We must go back to the drawing board. And the people close to him, the, the, the civil servants, they must, they must guide him. Although some, they, they want him to fail, though. They want him to fail. That's the gospel truth. A situation where you are, you are in the helm of affairs, you are bringing in your, 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 your relatives, your, your, your friends. You now, you now, you now, you now, you know, suspend because it's not from your region or it's not from your tribe. 
other people will they will fold their hands and they want you to fail. And that's exactly they are gradually you know, dragging him down. He's gradually gravitating towards failure. As they said, uh, that's why I, I, I rephrase it now. You are gravitating towards you know a face state. It's no longer a face state. <laughs> and I align with you. Thank you. So I'm um, see again. I'm smiling foolishly. Thank you. So for us, thank you for this. It's a clarion call. Mm. But for me. This is the only country I belong to. Yes, so. This is the only country I have. Yes, so. And every women, every women in Nigerians must come out to defend this country. Otherwise, it's what my grandmother would refer to. Ogbenyale, Nyanagbeale. The man that is after snake will be on the wrong, and the snake you after will be on the yes, wrong. Yes, so. Welcome, thank you so so much, gentlemen. Well, you've heard them. Nigeria is our country. If we want to make it work, all hands must be on deck too make sure that Nigeria works. If you don't want to make it work, we are in this together. If it sinks, it affects everybody. Not because you're among the elite, it will not touch you. No. Check out reactions and counter-reactions. The elite, even they're even affected. The common man in the street, they're affected. So we have to do the right thing. You know, it's a kidnapping. It will get to return also. If it's special control, you will be kidnapped one day. Mm -hmm. Have you not heard of kidnappers, kidnapping, kidnapper? It happened. It happened, yes, in the past. Yeah. Well, like, oh, I mean, generous in, 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 this, in, this, in this country. You understand it? You get to know we are, because I, I, I heard the story. Say, look, bro, we are in the same line of trade. They shut up. Bring your money. <laughs> a kidnapper that's kid yes. a kidnapper. So don't say you are spared. No, we have to make our country work. If you're just giving information from the security agents to oh, these kidnappers, one day it will get to your turn. It's karma. You just can't shy away from it. You can't hide from it. Let us all be careful. You see something, say, say something, something, and do something. And of course, do, do something. something.